Welcome to a Healing Peace Podcast. My name is Kimir Baker. I am an overcomer. I am very passionate about helping others to achieve an abundant life fueled by spiritual principles and emotional balance. In this podcast series, we delve into spiritual self-care. Yes, we will explore exercising our minds and bodies, but more importantly, we will discuss strengthening our inner being, embracing God's love, and being filled by the fullness of God. As you take this journey with us, we want to inspire possessing your authentic selves and happiness. Welcome back, ladies. I hope you enjoyed your week off with us and and you're back ready to get some more insights on having a winner's mindset. I enjoyed the conversation so much with Kristen. And I was like, you know, there's a couple more things I wanted to ask her. So I asked her back on the show. And if you're with me for a while, you know that that's usual case. You know, women, we like to talk. And so I'm always like, let's get all the information we can from people. Kristen, welcome back to the show. For those who are just joining us, can you reintroduce yourselves to us? My name is Kristen Railton. I am a wife and a mom. I've been married 20 years, last December, to a military man. We retired Army here in Florida. We live at the beach, which is super fun. I have two teenagers, a boy and a girl. We do lots of volleyball and cross-country and track running. We're really active family. As far as my work, we were going through, I've been through a lot as far as career-wise. I'm bounced around, but I think, you know, that's part of why I'm being interviewed is this finding yourself and being led by the spirit and allow to go where you were meant to be and to make the difference in the world you were meant to make. So I have a degree in art history, worked some small jobs in schools, things like that, and then started my own photography business, successful photography business, and worked my way into network marketing. And I'm even working past that into other things right now. As far as my walk with God, I grew up going to church. and I always felt I had a deep connection with the Lord, but I was baptized as an adult in 2001. So in July, I will be 20 years as a baptized adult. And that baptism and committing to following Christ is really what changed my life and really allowed me to, I feel, change my whole spirit, mindset, and who I am. All right. Well, thank you for letting people know who you are. And as you were speaking, We were, you brought up again how we were talking about making those shifts in our journeys and and in the process, listening more intently to God. Do you want a fun and interactive experience that will help change your thinking to rid negative self talk? Then join us Tuesday, May the 18th at 7 p.m. Central Time for J Intel and a Healing Peace Interactive Online Faith Based Workshop. We will explore changing our thinking. Yes, in our workshop, you will learn how to identify limiting beliefs. You will receive tools for changing your thinking to a growth mindset. Lastly, you will learn a practical way to approach God with sincerity and authenticity. You will gain all of this by attending one incredible evening. Go to ahealingpeace.com forward slash register to learn more and sign up. When you were going through that piece, that journey, especially with the photography, because it was something that you loved and you shared about that wrestle with, it was no longer making you happy. So you had to make adjustments. And when was the point or or at the place where you said, okay, enough is enough. Did you have like what you considered a a complete, I don't want to say breakdown, but (laughs) <laughs> but what what pushed you to the edge of saying, okay, now I'm ready to do something more? Yeah. So for me, I think it was a couple of things. I think it was the place in my life that I was at, mm-hmm. being a military wife and mom. I knew running your own business, they say you have freedom, but really running your own business, especially when you're the only one in your business, if you need the income, 
you kind of have to take the jobs, you know, with photography. And so I was taking away a lot of time from my family to be with other people's families, which I love people. Photography changed me in ways that I'm so grateful for and allowed me to be creative. But that was one of the points when I knew I was missing time with my own family. And then the other thing was, is I started having this growing anxiety in me um, that I just didn't want to go do it anymore. I just didn't want to show up. I just felt anxious. I just felt like there was something else that I wanted to do. It just wasn't bringing me joy anymore. And then this network marketing company opportunity dropped into my lap. And I thought, well, I don't know. Looking, and I think that's what I want to encourage people. It was there and I was like, oh, I don't know people. And I started going into that mindset. Well, people are just going to think it's crazy. Leave the photography business, do something that, you know, a lot of people don't understand or don't like. But I think that coming into my life at that time, the network marketing coming into my life at the time where I was really feeling like I wanted to be done with photography it helped me make that shift. And, and in that, there's two things that stood out to me was you got to a place where you, and, and maybe this is not the correct terminology, but where you decided that you're not going to be desperate mm-hmm. and, and not being desperate led to more freedom of being able to do what works for you. Right. And then the, the other piece in there too was um, paying attention to your emotional state uh, with, with the anxiety. And I, I think that's so key because our, our bodies respond and, and tells us, it gives us alerts of, hey, this is not working well for me. Uh, let's reevaluate. And so I, I'm grateful for you sharing that because I know that we had uh, a therapist on the show a while ago and, and she was talking about listening to your body and listening to um, those indicators And so I'm grateful because here's a person, a living example of what happens when you listen to those indicators, you're able to, if you're listening well enough, make better life choices and life decisions. And so I kind of want to go into the networking marketing piece, because uh, again, some of that too is the things that I see on social media, in addition to, you know, all the good things that you're doing. And the network not marketing piece is not necessarily, you know, the, the talent of photography, something completely different, right? Right. So what are things in that field where it's like, okay, this is working for me? And how is it fueling all those wonderful, flavorful posts that I've been reading? Uh, and especially uh, about gratitude in the midst of that as well. Yeah. So network marketing... It's what I loved about it coming from owning my own photography business was is I could own my own business, but I didn't have to make prices. I didn't have to haggle with people about why they had to pay a certain amount for a print of their child. Those things were already set in motion for me. And I just had to share something that I love. Mm -hmm. And I think that's super important is to make sure when you go into something like that is something you believe in and you love. So you're coming from a place of authenticity. Mm. I know I know why there's there's negative mindset around network marketing because there are people out there that do it the wrong way. Mm-hmm. They're only out there to kind of sell and make money, which, you know, we all need to make money. That's part of why I do it too. But they take in practices that are not so great and they've turned people off. And unfortunately, people see that and then they kind of blanket everyone else in it. And believing in what you're doing is super important. And never overwhelming people is also super important. And I think if you go about things the right way, that makes the difference. Because there's people in every industry, in every job that that can do things kind of a way that would turn you off, right? Like mm-hmm. there's car salesmen that can just like, oh my gosh, leave me alone. They don't, you know, and then there's some that are fantastic. I had a fantastic one who sold me my last car. There's people everywhere. And I think going into something that you love, because network marketing has a great possibility for residual income. It's work. You have to do the work, 
But if you're backing something that you truly love and believe in, sharing that with people in a way that they connect with that is easy. I believe in what I I choose to put out there. And if someone doesn't, that's okay. I don't ever want to force anyone, you know? Yeah. And a while ago, in, in the midst of being a, a kind-hearted networking, <laughs> uh, as you shared, we, we've definitely had experiences with more challenging people. Mm-hmm. But one of the things that I was really encouraged by in, in the post, because Again, you guys, there's two sides that the networking marketing, and she's going to tell us a little more specifically, because I know you're like, what she do? We don't get there. <laughs> <laughs> so, and, I, and I want to be able to provide that space for you. But the other area and we we're talking about in the first interview, uh, besides the networking marketing piece, is that you are putting out things to encourage other people and inspire them. Mm-hmm. And I remember reading one post where you were talking about gratitude. And I don't want to uh, say it because you do it so much well, because it's your words. But can you enlighten us a little bit with how gratitude also helps with that winner's mindset, helps with that overcomer's mindset and, and being open? Yeah, sure. So gratitude honestly changes lives. I mean, it's it's changed my life. I, I can turn my mindset around in five minutes, if I refocus into gratitude, like you were talking about, Kamir, we all can go down those negative paths at times. It's just human nature. I think, especially with the prevalence of social media in our lives, there's a lot of comparison. People are putting out their highlight reels and we start to be like, am I enough? I I never Hmm. do that or be like that or look like that. And I think gratitude is, is when we draw ourselves back in the quiet and we say, you know what? I have so much to be grateful for. There is a book by Ann Voskamp, 1000 Gifts. I don't mm-hmm. know if you've heard of it, but she's a Christian writer. And she started a list just about to write gratitude every day and how it changed her life. There's also another book I have, and I have no plugs on any of these things called I Choose Joy. And it's about starting every single day listing gratitude. So gratitude has just allowed me to believe in myself, if that makes sense. As we're talking about being open to Mm -hmm. the things that come into our life, our dreams, the, the purposes that we have. And what I was saying is comparison. I think a lot of us get excited. We think about it and then we start pulling back like, well, I could never do what she does. A lot of that happens in the community I'm in. I could never be like that. I could never, but God doesn't want you to be like that. He wants you to be you. Mm. You have a unique purpose and a unique place in this world. And there are other people that connect with you that you will make a difference in their life, your story, your circumstances that will connect with certain people that are set on your path. It doesn't matter If you have 100,000 followers on Instagram, that doesn't matter. It matters the couple of people that that post that you put up is going to connect with and change their heart and their life, and they're going to reach out to you. And and that's how I look at it. I'm grateful for every single person that has said that post made a difference in my life, in my day. Did you know that a Healing Peace podcast is a part of a larger community? That's right. A Healing Peace is the educational component of J Intelligence, J Intel. J Intel is a nonprofit organization that promotes a faith-based message of healing and emotional wellness. Together, we create programs that empower women in their emotional health and wellness process with faith-based and therapeutic tools. These tools educate, connect, and transform into the abundant life that God provides. Learn more about J Intel at jintel.org. So going back to gratitude, I think start small. Mm. It's so funny because in these books that I've read, I think when we don't actively practice gratitude, sometimes going into gratitude can be hard, which is funny because I always think we live in the United States of America. We have so much, even in the struggles that we go through, we all have struggles. None are compared to the other, but I've seen people going through traumatic things that still sit in gratitude 
and mm. their lives are a powerful. I mean, just, I'm just blown away by that. And that's what I want. So even if you have to start with, when you start your gratitude list, you get up in the morning and apply it with your coffee. I always have coffee and start with, I'm grateful for my cup of coffee. You know, I'm grateful for my husband, my children, and it starts to flow from there. And that is very powerful what you shared, especially about the comparison, not being feeling not good enough or, you know, comparing and believing in yourself because I would never have associated gratitude to strengthen those elements of my being. Mm -hmm. And so how did you get to a place of understanding that or getting to that connection? Because you, you got me on that one. Well, it's funny what I will say about the last, what have I been doing? Eight years or so Mm -hmm. about, of course, I'm in my, in the word and praying, but I'm also reading a lot of personal development Mm -hmm. and that's encouraged in the network marketing community. There's so much out there, but what I have learned through seeing other people's who have overcome things like just by their information has been life transforming. And when I, it's kind of funny, but a lot of these things like us feeling not good enough or having these fears stems from something most likely that happened as a child when it's crazy how those small traumas when we're children can carry through to our spirit. Um, Mm. Even now, And, you know, I remember I have an awful memory for some reason. I don't know, but certain things like that, you Mm -hmm. can remember. And I I shared this with our friend Shai a few years ago. It hit me after reading a lot of personal development. I hadn't even called it. But when I was in middle school, there was a program, which they called in that gifted and talented. Mm -hmm. And it was for artistic kids. And Art was, I mean, I love sports. I played every sport, but art was like my thing I identified with. That was that was it for me. So they picked a certain, I don't remember the number of kids to be in this program and work especially with a special person. And I thought, I'm going to be in it. You know, art is my thing. And I didn't get picked. Mm. And the teacher who did the picking was actually really unkind to me about it. And I realized, I was like, how crazy that is that now I was like carrying that with me, like something that I think I could be good at, that I think it might be my thing. Maybe I'm not. Mm. Maybe somebody won't see that. Maybe I really am not. Maybe it's just all a lie. And so I was carrying that with me and how gratitude directed me back. It's like, no, I started teaching myself. I dug Mm -hmm. in and got books and started figuring that out on my own. And I grew as an artist on my own. And in high school, this teacher came back to me and asked me if he could teach me some art, like if he could give me some lessons. And I said, no, thank you. I'm good. But I mean, isn't it crazy? Like I carried that and I realized I was doing that in adulthood. I had Mm. forgotten the piece of being grateful that it set me on a path to dig in and figure it out on my own and work hard and you know that has helped me kind of be a researcher in things myself even if I'm not taught something I can figure it out right yeah and and I appreciate all that you shared because I tell people this and they don't believe me (laughs) but I actually have a learned disability I'm like yeah like I've had my whole life and and they're so surprised by it because they see me tackling things, but it, it's, it gives me a different level of motivation because I, there's things I just can't take for granted, mm-hmm. you know? And, and, and one of those things is it, it gets me back to a place of researching and digging and just not allowing or allowing that to limit where I can be. And what you shared is very clear that you have that mindset like, man, I'm not going to allow those circumstances to limit what I can and who I am meant to be. And that is really powerful. And it's funny because as you were speaking, the thing that came to my mind was, I wonder if she knows that she has a winner mindset. It was funny because I was like, I 
I'm pretty sure she don't know. But the reason why you have a winner's mindset is that you're willing to go the distance and you're willing to go the distance with God. And in that, he opens up so many more doors. It's wonderful hearing you share because as you're sharing, I'm, I'm seeing and hearing his power and his impact in your life mm-hmm. and, and your tenacity. Like you don't give up. And, and within that, because recent or this morning, I saw your post about exercising and getting up at five in the morning. Yeah. Yeah. I'm impressed. I, I'm not. I don't even think I get up from a first bathroom break. <laughs> I am, yeah, I never claimed to be a morning person, but I will tell you it's hard, but getting up early and having that time while well, exercising, but also then having the quiet with God before the day starts is life. Mm, mm-hmm. And so what I, pre- I appreciate it about either your post and even just what you shared is that you are creating a time for you to be healthy, that your self-care is very important to you. Mm-hmm. And it's great because that's something that we talk about a lot on the show is eating right, being healthy, making sure that we're connecting with God so that we can get our strength from him and, and tackle our days. And again, you're that living example of the things that you can accomplish when you start your day taking care of your spirit. And the other thing that's been very clear to me as you've been speaking is that you embrace your identity. And again, it's so needed to have those examples, those living examples of, yes, it's possible And, you know, hearing that journey and that wrestling to get to that place of security in embracing your identity to the point that is leading you to new adventures. And in those new adventures, you are more than a conqueror. And so I'm grateful for for all that you have shared with us today. And and for those, because we talked about it kind of like coded, can you please tell them what networking what you actually, actually do besides inspiring us? <laughs> the, what company I'm with? Yes. And, and, and what what you enjoy talking about and selling. Because you don't have to have a, an enjoyment behind it and you believe in the product. So please tell us what that is. I have been through a few different companies. And just like we had talked about with God leading you, I think mm-hmm. leading those was very hard for me. It was very scary, especially the first one that I've been with a long time. But it led me to this beautiful company that we actually just launched officially yesterday, which is crazy. But mm-hmm. I've been behind the scenes with, it's a friend of mine, a good friend of mine who's launching this company and been helping her behind the scenes. So it is called Mason Grove Farm. And the beautiful thing about this company is we're about putting faith and family first. Mm -hmm. And it's a company, they actually just bought a a farm outside of Nashville, Tennessee, where there's going to be, it's going to be kind of like Chip and Joanna Gaines, where people can come, fish, have music, events, shop. We are going to, we are launching with clean organic farm skincare, Mm -hmm. wellness, like collagen, which wellness is big. If you know me, if you follow me, I'm, I came from health and fitness. And so that's super big in my life. So we're going to have skincare, collagen, some other apothecary things, and then launching into home decor and eventually a baby and a puppy line by the summer. So it's super exciting home. The other piece of that is, is I have always been obsessed with homes, wanted to do interior design. So this kind of puts all the pieces together Mm -hmm. and it, and I couldn't be happier because the people that own the company are people who have been seeking God through all of it. They went through a huge, huge trauma last year that brought Mm -hmm. them to this place. And God just has moved mountains to get them to open this company. And so I'm super grateful to be a part of it and see where it goes from here. So yeah, doing that, that getting a blog up and going because I do travel, I do all kinds of things, but I think Mm -hmm. that's the fun thing. And what I want to encourage everyone to do is to lean into those things that make you happy that Mm -hmm. you can talk about forever. 
that you're passionate about, lean into those things and explore those because I kind of did one thing, but then I realized we're all, God makes us all so multidimensional as human mm-hmm. beings. And we have so much to offer this world in so many ways. Yeah. And and how can our audience follow you and find you? Because what you shared with the new company, I mean, that's great. And all the things that I think you're, you're putting out life to people. And I, I definitely want others to be able to embrace what you guys are putting out because that is some good life. Vitality is what you're offering in a healthy way. So how yeah. can people follow you, find you? get in contact with you, book your stuff, come visit, (laughs) you know, all that great things. So, yeah, I have a website that will be live eventually, a personal website where I'll be blogging all kinds of stuff, but it will also be linked to my Mason Grove Farm website, which the website name is mama, M-A-M-A, travelswell.com. Lots of fun stuff will be going on over there. I'm on Instagram as Kristen Railton. I'm on Facebook as Kristen Daring Railton, got my maiden name on Facebook. But those are the places to find me. And I love to connect with people. I would love for you to shoot me a message if you have any questions about this or, mm-hmm. you know, just want someone to talk to, pray for you. That's what this is about. I feel like God has truly placed it on my heart to pour back into women, especially, and help them find that purpose and help them find mm-hmm. that in their lives. Yeah. And it's very clear that you are a great servant and vessel in that way, just from your own journey. So the things that you're giving back to people, you definitely understand because you've experienced it some kind of way. And so it's not like I've read a whole bunch of books and I'm making it up. It's like, man, though, this is what I've lived. And and now I look at the manifestation of Christ in me, of being an overcomer of having that winner's mindset is it, it, coming from a pure place. And so I, I definitely appreciate that so much. Thank you. Yeah. And I definitely appreciate you spending time with us because you've, you've had so many drop the mic statements. <laughs> and uh, I know you guys, if you've been with me for a while, you know, the next week's show, we're going to do a tools and tips where I try to bring together all this good information so that you have like a little cheat sheet of all this goodness. And, and we're definitely going to do that again. And, and Kristen, I thank you for what you shared. I mean, just so powerful. Thank you for having me. I just appreciate it so much. Yeah. And I was about to say, that's the best way to go about it because you're able to stay humble and you're able to stay moldable and you're able to be in a place where God can use you because it's not all about you. Mm-hmm. And, and you definitely exemplify that. And so you guys, um, again, tonight, uh, our wonderful workshop that we've been talking about, if you've seen it on social media, you, it's been there. So come on out tonight. We've got a couple of spots left. It, it's definitely worth being able to have this winner's mindset, dig a little deeper and be able to find things that work for you that make sense. So come out tonight, 7 p.m. CST. Again, Kristen, thank you for your time. It's been such a treat talking with you. And we will see you next week.